Well, what have you heard? So, you found a map. A map, sir? Yes. In the chest you dug up with your brother. That map. How... How do you know that? Mm, banisher. Knowing things is part of the job. This is... improper. Even indecent. It was just a stupid old map. I told Daniel to leave it be. Where did it lead? I don't remember. There was something about the bridge on the Boston Road. I paid it no mind. Then let us find this bridge and see what we can see. I must go. I will wait for you here. The bridge on the Boston Road. There'll be a waterfall somewhere not far away.
Do you see anywhere that could help? Keep searching here. Place has been ransacked. Our Mr. Keen, no doubt. When Daniel goes treasure hunting, he is thorough indeed. You're going to need me for this one. Please show me. Key might be useful.
Someone recently raided these chests. Looks like Daniel leaves no stone unturned. Traps. Deliberately sprung. That was clever of him. Greed makes for poor choices. I had a friend, Jenks, we called him. Good man. Took a job collecting dues for an insurance company. A postman for the blood of the work. Jenks stole the money. I suspect Jenks' story does not quite end there. Stabbed in the back and dumped in an alley. Still, he died rich. Kiss for you.
that's unfit for us to cross. Footprints. Too deep to miss. They're a little old, but I'm guessing Daniel King. Watch out, Spectre possession. Watch out, 
Spectre possession. Your funeral! He went down there. You need to see this. didn't leave much of him. He wanted the treasure so badly it killed him. I set out alone. He knew the woods were dangerous. Let's find his tie and ask him. Here's the map. Dare not touch what's mine! Who are you? Antea Duarte. This is my partner. I'm Red McGrath, Daniel. We met. My sister sent a banisher. Of course. Tell that harpy the treasure is mine. Did you dig all these holes? Aye, I did. And I'd have dug and dug till I'd found the treasure. Wolves came, and I fought them off. Some was theirs, and most was mine. But though soaked in blood, I kept digging. The cold came, and I kept digging. Exhaustion came, and I kept digging. And then, Cold and weary to my bones, the blood pooling in my boots. I could dig no more. I closed my eyes, 
You dug your own grave. Why would you do that? You ever been poor? Have you broken your back in the fields only to starve when the crop fails? I have, and did not like it. Why should I not eat fine food and wear fine clothes and pay other men to do my work? Why not I? I died for a life worth living, and I'd do it again if it meant my sister Edith would never have the treasure. Why blame your sister? What does she have to do with this? This is all her doing. In her envy, she coveted the treasure. I saw it in her eyes. I knew not when the double cross was coming, but I knew it was on its way. So I retaliated first. I crossed her, and the treasure is mine. The treasure is mine! And I suppose she wanted to steal it. She wanted to use the money to leave. She was wrong. This is where we should be. This is the future. The beast is dead, and the curse is lifted. Life here gets better, and will get better yet. We can make our fortunes here. You decided to claim the treasure, and force the issue. If I held the money, she'd have no choice but to see sense. But no, I'm dead, and her envy has left her poorer than ever. Your sister was worried, and asked Red to find you. That snake? Ha! Don't let her fool you. She slips and slides and hides her sin. She has a talent for it. What sin does she hide? Envy. She covets. As a child, she'd steal. A dolly from a cradle, an apple from a bowl, a cake from off the sill. What she wants, she takes. What she can't, she breaks. But she always dodges the blame. In our mother's belly, someone kicked, and I were born bruised purple. But Edith smiled and laughed. And no one thought to wonder, was she bad? Do you not get along then? Not now, not then. If she had listened, I would not have died. Was it she who sent you out into the woods? As good as. As good as, or I'm not Daniel King. And now I'm dead, and she is not. And she must think that she has won. Time we went. Don't listen to Edith. She lies with every breath. Stubborn, isn't he? He's also a man who holds a grudge. We need to reach out with the sister. See just fine.
banish her. Do not be fooled, for the woman is a snake. Well, what have you heard? I found him. Oh my. Where is he? Tell her straight. We found his body. No. No. It, it can't be. I don't think she knew. Oh, God. Poor Daniel. How did it happen? He was attacked by wolves. I need to know exactly what happened between you two. Nothing. We did argue at times, but siblings argue, don't they? No, it doesn't normally lead to killing unless there's a lot of money involved. What did you argue about? What didn't we argue about? That foolish, obstinate man. Daniel's ghost haunts you now. Me? How am I to blame? That's interesting. I didn't say you were to blame. I mean, why haunt me if he does not blame me? Well, there are other reasons for a haunting. But his is all about the treasure. He won't let you have it. I should have bloody known. I need to go in your house and look through his things. Do you mind? Since when did what I mind matter a moment around here? Do what you must. Look at you, playing the role of the worried sister. They came prepared. Not prepared enough, it seems. Shreds of a memory linger here. Corrito Skull! That's not the ritual I'd of you. Houston. A scale fogach smile. It's perfect. He'll never tell the difference. <laughs> you won't cross me, dear brother. Not me. She knew he'd steal the map, so she made a fake. He died because she tricked him. I wonder what she'll say when we tell her. What do you want now? Time we went. Aye, it is. Been digging up gold and digging up worms, I know which I'd choose. Neither seems to have made them rich. Well, you've looked through our things, such as they are, and I'll warrant you've learned nothing. 
Well, I do have more questions. You're very helpful, friendly and amenable. Is it an act? I don't understand. Why would you ask such a thing? I know about your forged map. I know you know why Daniel is missing. How to... Banish a thing, huh? That old fool's greed got him killed, not me. Truly does she love him so. You knew exactly what had happened to your brother. Why'd you lie? What does it matter? He went after the treasure alone and got what he deserved. I said I'd help you. I keep my word. I'm afraid you must face your brother one last time. Daniel, it's time. Your sister's here. Show yourself. You'll not have it. You hear me? The treasure is mine. I see you, Dan. I see your ghost. And you're still mean. The Banisher will see to you. You fool no one, you dog-grubbing harpy. Oh, not even death could give you manners. Enough, both of you. I'll have the truth now, if you please. And then I shall decide. I saw your letter, Edith. You plan to return to Yorkshire? Look around you! This country is cursed! It'll never come to nothing! Life were hard in Yorkshire too, but it were home! And the land there is not cursed! You don't want to go home! You don't want to go back to our old life! You want to go back and buy a large holding and be important! I saw your map, Daniel. You were hunting treasure. There's gold out there, and I would stake my claim. This country would have made us rich. Fool, there's nothing here but sticks and stones and mud and rot. At least I was trying to get us out of it, instead of running away and abandoning everything like a coward, like him. Don't you dare say one more word. I'm not like our father. Edith, you faked a map and fooled your brother. This is how that ended. You did what? I had no choice. I couldn't trust you, and I were right. You'll not have the treasure, you snake. Nor will you, now that you're dead. You'll not squander it on cursed land like a rustic fool. We'd have been better off in England. You know it, but you would not listen. That choice was not yours to make! Driven by greed, you went after the treasure alone. You double-crossed your sister. Bastard! Snake! Black-hearted blackguard! Say that again, you ramp. Quiet, the both of you. This family has two black sheep and they're both utter pains in the ass. The truth is told. Decision time. Edith and Daniel Keane, your rivalry and greed caused this tragedy. Edith will never claim the treasure. Daniel, your demands are satisfied, and you may go. Is this the end? For you, yes. Daniel Keane is dead. He must move on to a new beginning. To a new... beginning? To a new beginning. Cheers. There is nothing left for you here.
You did right, Banisher. <laughs>